In this video, we'll be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. We'll learn how to find the equations of lines that are parallel or perpendicular to any given line. Let's start with parallel lines. We say that two lines are parallel to each other if they have the same slope. Let's take a look at an example of some parallel lines. Let's say our first line looks like this. Remember that the slope of a line tells us how steep a line is. So if I have a parallel line, it would be a line that has the same steepness. So for example, this would be a parallel line because it has the same steepness. One thing you might observe is that two parallel lines on the xy plane will never intersect. This is because they have the same slope. Their ratio of rise and run are the same, so they go over and up at the same rate. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. We say that two lines are perpendicular if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. The negative portion means that the two slopes have opposite signs, and reciprocals means that as fractions, their numerators and denominators are flipped. Let's take a look at an example of perpendicular lines. For our first line, let's draw something that has slope 2. And let's say it has y-intercept 1. So it goes through the point 0, 1. And if it has slope 2 to get another point, we would go to the right 1 unit and up 2 units. Connecting these two points, we have our line that has slope m equals 2. Now, if we want a perpendicular line to this line, we would need to have a line that has slope that is negative reciprocal of 2. 2 as a fraction can be thought of as 2 over 1. So if we want the negative reciprocal, we have to flip the sign and flip the fraction. So the perpendicular line would have slope negative 1 half. So let's try to draw a perpendicular line that goes through the point 1 comma 3. So from 1 comma 3, if our slope is negative 1 half, to get a second point, we would go down one unit and to the right two units. Now that we have two points, all we have to do is connect our two points with a straight line, and we end up with a line that has slope m equals negative 1 half. Since our two lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other, we say that these two lines are perpendicular. While it is not obvious, it turns out that perpendicular lines intersect at 90 degrees. Next, we'll look at some examples of finding the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. In our first example here, we want to find the equation of a line that's parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 3 that goes through the point negative 2 comma 1. In general, if we want to find the equation of a line, we need to know two things. We need to know a point that's on our line, and we also need to know the slope of the line. Now the point is easy, it's given to us, we know that our line goes through the point negative 2 comma 1. In order to determine the slope, well, we know that our line is parallel to y equals 2x plus 3. Remember, parallel means that our two lines have the same slope. So all we have to do is figure out what slope y equals 2x plus 3 has. Since y equals 2x plus 3 is an equation of a line that's in slope-intercept form, if we want to figure out the slope, all we have to do is look at the number that's in front of the x. In this case, that number is 2. So the slope of the line that's given to us is 2, which means that if we have a parallel line, our line will have that same slope. So the slope that we're going to use is again 2. Once we've identified a point and the slope, we can write down the equation using the point-slope form of a line, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in the appropriate values, we have y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus negative 2. Simplifying the double negatives, we have y minus 1 equals 2 times x plus 2. Now, if we want to write our equation in slope-intercept form, all we have to do is solve for y. So start by distributing the 2 here. This gives us y minus 1 equals 2x plus 4. And then add 1 to both sides. We get the equation y equals 2x plus 5. 
So y equals 2x plus 5 is the equation of a line that's parallel to y equals 2x plus 3, but this line goes through the point negative 2 comma 1. In example b, we want to find an equation of a line that's parallel to 3x plus 6y equals 4 going through the point 5 comma negative 1. Again, if we want to find the equation of a line, we need two things. We need to know a point that's on the line, and we also need to know the slope of the line. So the point is given to us, that's going to be 5 comma negative 1. To find the slope, we know that our line is parallel to 3x plus 6y equals 4. So we need to figure out what slope this line has. This time, the slope is less obvious to us because the line is not written in slope-intercept form. So if we want to determine the slope of 3x plus 6y equals 4, we need to first put it in slope-intercept form, then we can read off what the slope is by looking at the number in front of the x. Remember that if we want to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, what we need to do is solve for y. So take this equation, first subtract 3x from both sides. This gives us 6y equals negative 3x plus 4. And then all we have to do to get y by itself is to divide both sides by 6. This gives us y equals negative 1 half x plus 4 over 6, or 2 thirds. Now that the given line is in slope-intercept form, we can read off what the slope is by looking at the number in front of the x. In this case, it's negative 1 half. Now, since our line is parallel to 3x plus 6y equals 4, we're going to use the same slope. So, the slope for our line is also going to be m equals negative 1 half. With the point and the slope in hand, we can write down the equation using the point-slope form of the line. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in the values, we have y minus negative 1 equals negative 1 half times x minus 5. We can simplify this to y plus 1 equals negative 1 half times x minus 5. Now, if we want to write this equation in slope-intercept form, all we have to do is solve for y. So distribute the negative 1 half. This gives us y plus 1 equals negative 1 half x plus 5 halves. Then we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation to get y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 halves. So this is the equation of the line that's parallel to 3x plus 6y equals 4 that goes through the point 5 comma negative 1. Let's now look at some examples of perpendicular lines. In example c here, we want to come up with the equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals negative 3x plus 2 going through the point 4 comma negative 2. Just like before, we want to identify a point that's on the line and the slope. The point, we're going to use 4 comma 2. To determine the slope, we know that our line is perpendicular to y equals negative 3x plus 2. Remember that perpendicular means that the two lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So let's first identify what's the slope of the given line. The equation y equals negative 3x plus 2 is already given in slope-intercept form. So if I want to figure out the slope, all we have to do is look at the number in front of the x. In this case, that slope is negative 3. So the slope that we're going to use for our line is the negative reciprocal of negative 3. Negative reciprocal means we're going to flip the sign of the number and also flip the fraction. Negative 3 as a fraction is negative 3 over 1. So if we flip the sign and flip the fraction, we get our slope is m equals positive 1 third. Now that we have a point and a slope, we can write down the equation in point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in the appropriate values, we have y minus 2 equals 1 third times x minus 4. Distributing the 1 third, we end up with y minus 2 equals 1 third x minus 4 thirds. 
Lastly, if we want to write this in slope-intercept form, we add 2 to both sides. This gives us y equals 1 third x, and then if I have negative 4 thirds and I add 2, it's like taking negative 4 thirds and adding 6 thirds. This gives us positive 2 thirds. So the equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals negative 3x plus 2 that goes through the point 4 comma 2 is y equals 1 third x plus 2 thirds. Let's look at one last example. So in this last example, we want to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 1 that goes through the point 2 comma negative 3. Remember, to write down any equation of a line, we need two things. We need a point, and we need the slope. The point that our line goes through is 2 comma negative 3. To determine the slope, we use the fact that our line is perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 1. So first, we need to figure out the slope of this given line. Since this line isn't written in slope-intercept form, we can't just read off what the slope is. So first, we'll need to solve for y to put it in slope-intercept form. To solve for y, we'll start by subtracting 5x from both sides. This gives me negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 1. And then to get y by itself, we just divide both sides by negative 2. This gives me y equals negative 5x divided by negative 2 gives me positive 5 halves x. And then 1 divided by negative 2 gives me negative 1 half. Now that the equation is in slope-intercept form, we can read off the slope by looking at the number in front of the x. In this case, the slope is 5 halves. Since the line that we want is perpendicular to the given line, we need to use the negative reciprocal slope. So flip the sign and flip the fraction, we see that the slope that we need is going to be m equals negative 2 fifths. Now that we have a point and a slope, we can write down the equation in its point slope form. So plugging in the appropriate values, we have y minus negative 3 is equal to negative 2 fifths times x minus 2. Simplifying the double negatives here, we end up with y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 fifths times x minus 2. If we want to write this in slope-intercept form, we need to solve for y. So distribute the negative 2 fifths to get y plus 3 equals negative 2 fifths x. And then negative 2 fifths times negative 2 gives me a positive 4 fifths. Next, to get y by itself, we subtract 3 from both sides we get y equals negative 2 fifths x, and then 4 fifths minus 3. We want to get a common denominator, so it's like 4 fifths minus 15 fifths, which gives us negative 11 fifths. So the equation of the line that's perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 1 that goes through the point 2 comma negative 3 is y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 11 fifths. So in this video, we learned about parallel and perpendicular lines and how to find the equations of such lines.